Hey Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And this is a mid-month bonus reading for you guys. I want to say straight off the top that if you're dealing with a Taurus, you probably need to go watch the Taurus reading, okay? You really probably need to go watch the Taurus reading. Um, very, very, very similar. And I did Aries. I just did Taurus and I'm doing Aries now because the emperor was prominent in the Taurus reading. So I wanted to do an Aries reading in case people are dealing with each other. Um, you guys can kind of synchronize and, and cross watch and all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. So that being said, Aries, as usual, this is not a reading for you. This is not your personal reading. This is a general overall forecast for the collective sign of Aries. You may see yourself in this reading. You may not. Either way, if you need any kind of information, confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, or guidance from this general reading or in general, you should reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get a reading. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below, um, or whoever it is that you trust to read your cards, okay? All right, Aries. Okay, here we go, Aries. All right, so, exciting. Okay, dun 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 Aries, you open this reading with the moon, right? Struggling with your subconscious mind, struggling with fear and anxiety. Why? Why? Well, it's to the Prince of Swords in reverse because you're thinking about taking some action with a complete disregard for consequences, right? Aries is like, screw it. Oh, by the way, I swear if you don't like it, just tune out right now. Okay, I don't want to hear about it in the comment box. If you don't like it, tune out. So Aries is um, getting ready to take some action with a disregard for consequences. Aries is like, screw it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. To the, <laughs> to the Ten of Wands, right? You're struggling with this. Hence the Moon card. Struggling with your subconscious mind. You want to take some serious action with a disregard for consequences, but you, you're struggling. You're struggling with it. And that is kind of the theme of this whole reading here, right? Struggling with taking some action with a disregard for consequences. You want to renew something in your life, Aries, with the star card. You want renewal. You want some hope, some faith. You see purpose in it. You want renewal in something in your life because you see it as a nine of cups opportunity. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction, right? And you're about to take some action. Come what may, let the cards fall where they do, right? You're focusing on change. You're focusing on changing this situation because you want renewal in the situation. To the two of pentacles, this is prioritizing, right? You want to prioritize a renewal of something in your life, Aries. Peace, right? You just want peace in the situation. It's all you want is peace. You want a respite from the negativity from the baggage from the worry you just want peace to the eight of swords you want to be able to break free from the mental that is surrounding this particular situation you just want some peace right however you're trying to be very prudent, okay? You're trying to use discernment and be very prudent about how you approach this situation because you feel, Aries, that your approach to this situation is either going to make or break it, okay? So you're trying to be very careful. You're trying to employ prudence and discernment in this decision-making process right here. The hangman in reverse, resistance, stalling, indecision, right? Because, like I said, you're, you're trying to make a very important decision here and you're trying to do it um, with a lot of discernment because it's a make or break type of, of situation. The hermit, right? Doing some soul searching and some introspection about how you should go about handling this situation because you have a lack of clarity. You're not real sure how to approach it 
All you know is that you need it needs to be addressed. It needs to be approached because there is unrest inside of you. Hence the peace card, right? You see this as 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 a, a nine of cups relationship, right? Or a nine of cups situation, right? The, there's the potential for wishes to be fulfilled, for happiness, vitality, success, comfort, the whole shebang, right? But you're just not clear, doing some soul searching and some introspection. The Four of Swords, this is contemplating in a defensive posture. This is contemplating your next move. What are you going to do? How are you going to move forward in this situation? To the Devil, this is battling yourself, Aries. This is your self-disparaging thoughts. These are the thoughts that are keeping you delayed and in resistance in the hangman energy. These self-disparaging thoughts is what you want to release with this Eight of Swords in reverse, right? In order to get some peace, you just want some peace in your soul. You want a renewal of this situation because you're tired. You're tired of just not having peace, right? The devil, this is you. This is your own self-disparaging thoughts. This is your insecurities. This is you not trusting yourself. This is you saying, I can't. This is ridiculous. There's no hope in this situation. I can't renew this situation. This is dead and gone, and there is no hope. That's you in that devil card right there, Aries. Five of Cups in reverse says that you just want to give and receive some forgiveness, right? You want to move on from the situation, renew it, and give and receive with forgiveness. The Four of Wands in reverse. There has been a communication breakdown. Whatever this situation is, you have not communicated with or about this situation in a long time. Ten of Cups. Yeah, there was a misalignment of values in some kind of very important relationship in your life. There was a misalignment of values which caused some kind of breakage in the relationship. And Temperance in Reverse comes in and talks about doing some self-healing and, and wanting a realignment of values. And perhaps it's your own values that are being realigned. Perhaps you're standing up to your self-disparaging thoughts and balancing out and realigning your own values. But either way, either way, there's been some self-healing and a realignment of values in you. Okay? In you. The magician says that you want to manifest. You want to manifest out of the conflict because you're conflicted right now with the five of wands. You're, you're, you're worried that if you go forward and try to gain some peace and some renewal in this situation, that you're going to be met with conflict. This is also inner conflict about everything that we just talked about, right? So you're trying to manifest your way out of conflict, Aries. The Ten of Swords in Reverse says that you want to recover something. And the Three of Cups says you want to reunite. You want to reunite and you want to have celebration. You want to recover something that has been lost, Aries. Um, you have a lot of internal conflict and you're afraid of external conflict, right? But you're going to manifest it. You're manifesting your way out of the conflict and into reuniting recovering, where are we? Reuniting, recovering, right? Manifesting, reuniting, and recovering. To the Prince of Cups. This is about somebody being in touch with their emotions and their intuition to such a state of being that they're ready to share. This tells me you are ready to share your emotions, Aries. You want to reach out and reunite, reconcile any differences with somebody. And, and you are in touch with your emotions and you're ready to move forward and share your thoughts, your feelings, and your experiences with this person that you want renewal with. Okay? Victory in the center of your reading. 
right? That's what's on your mind. That is the ultimate outcome of this reading is victory, right? Absolute victory. All the pieces in place to win, right? To the princess of wands. This is exploration, discovery, enthusiasm, right? You want to move forward and explore this desire that you have to reunite, reconcile, renew, recover something from the past. Indolence. This is a lack of action. This is a lack of movement, a lack of action, right? And this is what has been pestering the situation from the very beginning, right? That's why you are in the eight of, of, of cups called indolence in this deck. That I'm sorry, the eight of discs. Um, no. Yeah, indolence. Where are we? Indolence, right here. <laughs> That's why you're in a state of indolence, right? There's nothing being done. This is a card about not taking any action, right? And and that's what's going on here, right? Not taking any action. That's why you're trying to be prudent, right? About the indecision and the stalling because you haven't taken any action at all to do anything in this situation. And now that you want to take some action, you are having self-disparaging thoughts and, and feeling all insecure about taking action to the King of Swords in reverse because you're afraid somebody might be angry with you. The person on the receiving end of this, you're afraid they're going to be angry with you. To the King of Wands in reverse, because quite honestly, you think they think you're a dick. Seriously, you think they think you're a dick. And that's why you have not gone forward to this person yet. The Chariot, right? This is the reason that you haven't taken any action to the Prince of Pentacles. This is the reason that it's been slow going, right? No movement, no real uh, progression forward in the situation to the Seven of Wands in reverse. But you know what? You're going to give it up. You're going to give it up, Aries. You're going to give it up. You're just going to give it up, and that's why we had the Prince of Swords up here in reverse, right? A disregard for consequences. You know what, Aries? You're like, fuck it. You know what? What have I got to lose? What have I got to lose? They're either going to tell me, Aries, I think you're a dick, and I don't want anything to do with you, or they're going to be open to bringing some peace, some some reunion, some reconciliation into the situation, some recovery, one way or another right? And the seven of, of wands in reverse is you just giving up the fight, right? Giving up the fight to the nine of wands, screwing up some courage, right? Screwing up some courage to come forward to this person, whether they're angry, whether they think you're an asshole or not, you are preparing to come forward and talk to this person, communicate to this person about whatever, Whatever went on between the two of you, that's what you want to do. And that's what you're getting ready to do. And when you do do that, gain comes in. This is the Nine of Discs, the Nine of Pentacles. This is about um, gaining everything. You have everything to gain and nothing to lose. I think that was the theme of the Scorpio reading um, a couple of weeks ago, right? Or last week because I was really late getting those out. Been really busy. Anyway, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. works, right? You need to work some stuff out on the inside though, Aries. You need to work some stuff out. You need to get some stuff straight on your inside before you can approach this person. You need to work on some things. What do you need to work on? Well, the Prince of Cups in reverse says that you feel like it's unrealistic to share your emotions with this person. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is worried about appearances. This is worried that this person is going to be angry and, and, and think that you're an asshole. 
Worried about appearances, right? Worried about your ego. I mean, Aries, let's face it. I'm on the Aries cusp, okay? I'm April 21st, so I'm right in, and I'm not only April 21st, but I was born at, I think, like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I was right at the transition from Aries into Taurus, okay? So I relate a lot with Aries, okay? I am just ambitious and project-oriented and um, I would like to climb the mountain, right? Been to the motherfucking mountain top. That's Eminem's song, by the way. Anyway, um, you're worried about appearances, right? You're worried about rejection. You're worried that this person is going to be angry with you. You're worried that they're going to think badly of you. And you're just, you just kind of don't want to face all of that, right? To the sun in reverse, you're worried that this whole situation isn't going to be very optimistic, that it's not going to be what you want it to be. To the empress in reverse, because there has been absolute no communication. There's been no creation between the two of you. There has been nothing between the two of you for so long. And you're really worried about how this person is going to perceive you. Works. This is what you need to work out. This is what you need to process in your mental. And this is what you need to work out. The Prince of Wands. This is a card about taking inspired action. This is a card about following your passions, right? Following your passions to the alchemist manifesting your passions, manifesting what it is that you want out of this situation. Because you're tired of it being in your mental areas. You're tired of it. And you want to clear it out one way or another, right? You want to clear it out one way or another. You're just tired of it being in your mental. You're tired of it being baggage around your ankles. And you just want resolve in this situation one way or another right? But you're, you're worried about disappointment. The five of cups in this deck, you're worried about disappointment, okay? Because, because of the six of swords in reverse, you're worried that there's too much baggage, there's too much water under the bridge, and this person that you want to reach out to, oh, my nose is itching so badly. You're worried that this person that you want to reach out to is just going to be like, Psst, really? Really, bro? You kidding me? Seriously, after all the shit that went down between the two of us, you want to make nice with me, right? Whether it whether it's their fault or your fault, doesn't matter. Either way, you're worried that um, that you're going to be hit with disappointment because this person thinks there's too much water under the bridge. Ha, look, worry, right? Worry, you're worried, right? You're worried to the Queen of Swords in reverse that this person is not going to be receptive. You're worried that this person is angry, right? You are because of the injustice that's happened between the two of you in the past. There's obviously been an injustice. If there wasn't some kind of injustice, Aries wouldn't be consumed by all of this worry and this reluctance and these self-disparaging thoughts. All you want, Aries, is peace. All you want is to be able to share your emotions, come what may. You're hoping for the best, right? But you're wor really worried that this person is not going to receive you well and that, that they're still going to be holding um, a grudge against the injustice of the past, right? You're also going to be worried that justice isn't going to be met, that the injustice is going to be on your side of the whole situation, to the Ace of Wands, right? And the Three of Wands, preparing, having foresight, and preparing to take some passionate action to create an inspired, powerful, passionate beginning with this person. Reuniting, reconciling, the whole re thing we got going on here. So many R's, right? Reuniting, reconciling, renewal, recovery. All right, Aries. Art. You want a blank slate by which to recreate this entire relationship. You want to be able to paint the picture of how things 
how you want things to be in this relationship. You just want a blank slate. You want to start over from scratch and you want a blank slate. Death, right? You want a transformation. You want an ending, a change, a transformation in this whole situation. You want an ending to the no communication, the creative block, the, the everything. You want an end to it all. You want to change it. You want to transform it into something beautiful. The emperor, you, Aries, you, the emperor, wants to engage wants to engage, wants to work on it, wants to gain mastery of it because you've learned a lot in the time that you were with this person to the time right now. You have learned a lot about yourself, about how to be, about how to be, right? And you've, you've really worked on yourself and you want to work on this situation too. The devil this is you. This is your disparaging thoughts. This is your own head, Aries. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. What is the attachment? The attachment is your limiting beliefs. The attachment is your self-disparaging thoughts. That's the attachment that is a limitation to your personal growth. And you need to get a handle on that, right? Because you need to grow and expand. You need to execute what you've learned right here with the Eight of Pentacles to the Emperor, right? You need to conquer your self-disparaging thoughts, your doubts. You need to conquer them because it is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on, I'm losing my stuff. I'm losing my stuff. Okay. Three of Wands in reverse. This is um, delays, right? This is no progress forward, right? In the upright, it's it's foresight and preparation. In the reverse, it's none of the above, right? So your attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth is blocking your personal growth. Judgment. This is a decision that is a rebirth in your life. This is a black and white decision that changes the trajectory of your life. Yesterday I was this way. Today I am this way. That's the reality of this decision with the judgment card. Ace of Swords. You're going to speak your truth. Number one, this is your truth. This decision that you make. This is you speaking truth to yourself. Number two, you are going to speak your truth to this person that you want to reunite with. The Ace of Discs. You're going to speak your truth about manifesting a brand new opportunity between the two of you that is rooted in security. And a truce, right? Calling a truce to the whole damn situation. This is a respite from a conflicting situation. Call in a truce. You know, let's just let's just bury the hatchet and call a truce between each other. The high priestess, you've been doing some soul searching. You have been searching your subconscious mind and your intuition, perhaps your higher power, about how you should go about actually doing this. To the Eight of Swords, yep, you've spent a good minute in your mind trying to figure out the action that you need to take to change this situation. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is self-protection, right? Self-protection, and you know you have to lay this down if you're going to get anywhere in this situation. You know you have to lay down the self-protective energy. The Hangman, right? Processing. Thinking about how you are, Snickers, thinking about how you are going to actually execute this. The Empress in reverse. Um, this is the creative disconnection. There's been nothing being created between you and your Empress. There's been nothing being created, right? 
Oh, look, the emperor to the empress, right? But the empress is in reverse, which tells me perhaps the empress is the one who maybe ghosted you or took off or backed out of the relationship some way because the emperor wants the empress, but the empress is disconnected, right? She's disconnected. She's not creating anything. The Five of Swords, right? Because there was some betrayal, some deception, some shady behavior in the past between the two of you. The Three of Pentacles. You want some teamwork and collaboration. You truly do. The Ace of Wands in reverse. But there's been, um, but, but, but you're pessimistic, right? Uh, this is a, a lack of motivation. Um, um, a lack of motivation. Um, feeling pessimistic. Feeling... Um, just just not very optimistic, right? To the Five of Pentacles. Because somebody was left out in the cold. Either you or the Empress was left out in the cold in the past. But you want to manifest a brand new beginning, Aries. You want to manifest a brand new opportunity with this person. And you want to bring security to the table. The Five of Cups. You just want forgiveness. You want to move on from everything that's happened between the two of you, and you just want some forgiveness. The Princess of Wands, right? Exploration, discovery, enthusiasm. You, you enthusi enthusiastically want to move in to discovery and progress, right? You want to rediscover if there's a potential for you guys to bury the hatchet and reunite with one another. And the sun comes in. This would make you ecstatically happy. You do believe that there is happiness, success, and vitality to be had in doing this. And this is your motivation to actually reach out to this person. Right? Because you believe that there's some happiness to be found here. One way or another, Aries, even if it doesn't make, at least you have... Um, happiness, success, and vitality in knowing that you tried and you can move into your future um, knowing that you genuinely tried. You genuinely tried to reunite and reconcile with this person. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, right? We're at 27 minutes. Um, I think I have a few minutes before I have to splice videos together. So I'm going to get an outcome. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use, I'm going to use this deck. Spirit, what's the outcome here? What's the outcome? When Aries reaches out to, when the emperor reaches out to their empress, what is the outcome? What is the outcome, Spirit? When the emperor reaches out to their empress, what is the outcome? <laughs> They're so funny. So the Knight of Swords, right? This is action. This is action, communication, action oriented communication to the Seven of Wands. This is valor. This is about um, facing danger with bravery, right? That's so cute, Aries. That's so cute because you're so concerned about, about the way this person is going to accept or not accept you, right? That's hilarious. Um, I didn't get what I wanted though. You know what? I'm going to use this deck because I have root cards with that deck. So let's just use this deck. It's a full straight on deck. So yes, spirit. What happens when Aries reaches out? What's the outcome of all of this? What happens when Aries reaches out? Ace of Swords. Okay. Ace of Swords. King of Wands. Okay. Okay. Look, this is what happens. King of Wands, you, Aries. The King of Fire, you, Aries, right? Speaking your truth with the Ace of Swords results in forgiveness, optimism, and reuniting. There you go, Aries. If you needed any kind of confirmation that um, this is going to work out for you, this is it right here. 
Now, this is not your personal reading. Your situation could be very, very different. It really, really depends on what went on between the two of you in the past. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com um, and we will explore what this means for you and you alone. No collective energy, no kind of, sort of, maybe this is the way it's going to turn out, right? None of that. We will explore you and your situation um, thoroughly from beginning to end, and your situation may be very different from this. It may be a lot like this, but uh, we need to know about you for you, okay? All right, Aries, there you go. I hope that helped you, give you some kind of confidence, some kind of direction, some kind of clarity, um, maybe maybe some confirmation of your own intuition. Whatever, Aries, I hope it helps some way, somehow. Namaste.